Hello everyone, my name is Tyler Ferrer and I'm here at the University of Rhode Island studying Communication and Public Relations and it is without a doubt an honor to introduce you to Diane Nash. Diane Nash was born and raised in a Catholic household in 1938 where she didn't experience much of segregation or racial discrimination. It wasn't until she attended Fisk University that she got her first glimpse of the Jim Crow laws and segregation among society. Here she was very much against it and she joined nonviolent committees and started doing sit-ins with Reverend James Watson. Soon after, she created the SNCC, the Student Nonviolence Coordinating Committee, where she had organized many sit-ins and events, including the Rock Hill Nine, which was a diner sit-in because nine students were wrongfully jailed due to racial segregation in the Jim Crow era. From here, she also advocated for the Freedom Rides, which although were getting violent, she was very set on not giving up as she did not want the whole project and the cause to go to waste. And Diane eventually settled down in Chicago. She became a school teacher there while also still advocating for equality. And she also advocated for a better welfare system. And Dr. Martin Luther King worked with her and had very high praise for her and her courage and faith and her ability not to back down or lose. And with that being said, it is my pleasure to introduce you to Diane Nash.